So as I said, today's theme is something from nothing because that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to show you how to take these nothing bottles that we don't want to see in the landfill and we're going to make something. So check out what I made. So when you choose your plastic water bottle or any of your plastic bottle, it's fun to choose the ones that have the texture in them because that just gives you a little bit more texture for your, your project. You're going to cut the top off first. I have a craft knife. And then we're going to cut down. And our piece is about oh, an inch across, maybe two inches down. Just depends on how long you want it, um, your pieces to hang from your necklace. We're going to round the edges. And you're going to need probably, oh, 15 or 20 like this. Now the outside of the water bottle is going to be the right side of your piece. The inside, the concave area is going to be where you're going to do all the painting. And it's a reverse painting. So everything that you put down first is what you're going to see on the right side. Well, before we get painting, let's put in a hole with our eighth inch hole punch and that'll give it a place to hang, like so. Next we're going to put some paint on. We're going to do our paint and I've got some white here started. Take a toothpick and just put it onto the back here. Take a clean toothpick and just draw through it. Now remember here's this is our wet paint. This is the other side and that's what you're going to see. So you can see that it's starting to take shape. Now you're going to let that dry completely and then you put on your next color. I'm going to use some red. Draw through it. A little bit more here. And remember, if you're going to draw through it onto the other color, like I did there, it's not going to necessarily show. Just a little bit of it will show there. Okay, you let that dry. And here's where we have our right side and all of our paint here. And then you put your final color on the back. And I just take a brush and the third or fourth color paint, whatever you decide, and just brush it on. You want to make sure you cover, it, cover up all the holes, all the spaces where they, the paint to cover it up so you can, can't see through it. And when you're all done, this is what your piece looks like. Isn't that cool? Now, on the back where you have your paint, you're going to want to seal it with um, probably like a lean spray sealer, which um, you can get in a mat or a gloss, and that would just seal it really nice. Now, let's take a look 
at the finished piece. Okay, here's the finished necklace, and you can see all my pieces have a little bit different pattern. Look at this one has like a star pattern. Again, I did all my little star things uh, on the, the back of it, and then I covered it up with paint. This is like what we did, and then I just put paint on these. Here's some that have some other little star things. So they're all done a little bit different, all painted on the back just like I showed you. Now, on this necklace, I chose a braid to hang it from because I liked where I could hang my jump rings from the little holes on the braid. So all you would do is just simply put your jump ring right into that hole and then you would you would hang it onto the braid. And then I found these really cool fasteners so you would fasten them, you just kind of clamp them onto the braid and then attach your lobster claw and that finishes it up. Now if you don't want to do it on a braid, that's fine. I did find this really cool chain at the local craft store the other day. It has all kinds of places to put to hang things from. So I really like the looks of that. So you're not limited to just doing what I did. Play around with what you find. So that is the necklace. Super simple. Don't you just love it?